So, you're a creator, you're an artist, you like to make things, you like to make art and do stuff. And you started to think to yourself, hmm, it would be so nice to show this. I would love to have a solo show. How cool would it be for me to actually have a show where people can come, see my art, and I could sell it? Oh man, that would be so cool. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm gonna give you the four step roadmap on how to curate your own solo show. And if you're an artist or creative of any kind, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can follow me on my journey and get more tips and tricks on how to take your passion to the next level. Okay, let's get right into it. As a creator, I think it's a very empowering moment to put your art into the world. I mean, it's also a very difficult moment. Sometimes it's really hard to put yourself out there and let people judge you, but that's what art is all about. So having your own solo show can be a very pivotal moment in your creative career. Step number one is the most important step, and that is to create a vision for your show. Having a vision means like literally visualizing everything that you can about this show. We can all do this, and this is where it all starts from. So having that dream and thinking of the ultimate show that you could have if nothing was holding you back. That's the point of this first step. So really sit back, enjoy, visualize, look at other artists and see what they're doing and try to really intensely envision to the most detail that you can what your show would be like. A good place to start is to develop a concept. To me, a concept is a stringing idea between everything that helps bring the entire show together. That way you give people a guided experience. I believe that our jobs as artists and creatives is to be vulnerable is to evoke emotion and to share our perspective of the world through our own lens, to tell our own story. And the solo show is the perfect way to do that. So here are some things to think about. What kind of experience do you want people to have? Think about what the day is going to look like. From the moment they walk through the threshold, from the moment they leave, what is going to happen through that entire day? What do you want people to take away from the show? What do you want to take away from the show? When creating your vision for the show, it's also important to set some goals. So think hard of some objectives that you want to accomplish while having this experience. For instance, is the purpose of the show to actually sell art or to just put yourself out there and have the experience? How many people do you want to come? Do you want the show to be virtual and to be seen around the world? It's totally up to you what kind of goals you set. But the important thing here is that setting goals is going to give you a target to hit and a direction to move towards. And finally, the last step with building a vision is to believe in yourself. And this is arguably the most important part of having your vision. You're probably thinking, well, I've never done this before and I have no idea where to start and all of these other thoughts are coming into your head. Stop that right now. None of that matters. All that matters is that you have this vision and believe in yourself. How to do it will be part of the process. That's what's gonna come after the vision. But if you don't believe in yourself, you're not gonna have the motivation to take the next step. Even if it feels impossible, you have to believe in yourself. And believing in yourself is really going to set the tone for you to get through every single step of the way. All right, now that you've visualized and you have this desire to build your show and you really believe in yourself, it's time for step number two. And that is to plan ahead. So I've learned that the key to success in anything for that matter is to plan ahead. The more detailed you can get, the better it is. The more steps you have between now and your end goal, the more prepared you're going to be to execute every single one and the better prepared you will be to overcome any issues that come along. It's all about reverse engineering. Now that you have a clear picture of what you want your show to look like, just work backward. Take a second and think to yourself. If you wanna to get to this point, just think of like every single little thing that you would need to do to get there. And you don't have to have all the answers right away. The key is to give yourself some time to really plan this out, to think of all the details. A good rule of thumb to go by is to give yourself at least three months from the day you decide to have the show. That way you have plenty of time to think of all the little details and organize yourself for the day of. And here are some things to think about while planning your show. 
How much money do I want to spend? How much money do I want to make? Where do I want to have the show? Should I collaborate with somebody? Do I want to have music? What kind of art do I want to show? Do I want to sell merchandise? Do I want to have prints? Where do I want to have the show? How long do you want the show to be? So this planning phase is all about trying to actually put pen to paper and really looking at things in the fine detail. That way you can have a checklist of all the things you have done and all the things you still need to do. Again, planning a show is not easy. You should definitely challenge yourself to do this, but it's going to take a lot of work and planning ahead and really trying to be detailed and meticulous about it is going to give you the best chance to succeed. And now that you're planning all of this stuff, it's a great opportunity to invest in yourself and take some risks. I'm a strong believer that life is about being bold and living to your ultimate potential and not wasting life. We're never gonna grow by just doing the same thing over and over again and playing it safe. Yeah, yeah, and I know what you're thinking, but Weverson, spending money and investing in myself Myself and taking risks when I've never done anything before. It's so scary. Yeah, I know. But now that you're planning this show and you've had this vision and you're detailing everything that needs to happen for the show, it can make it a lot more manageable to take risks and do scary things and invest in yourself because you have a purpose now. You should go as far as planning what you're going to be doing after the show. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'll share some extra advice on what to do after the show. Step number three, the most important of them all, and that is to subscribe to this channel because we're gonna give you all the advice and motivation you need to get through all the steps, all of them. But seriously, if you're getting any value from these videos, please subscribe, please hit that bell button, give us a thumbs up, and drop a comment telling us what you think of this video and how else we can help you. Honestly, your support means the world to me and it really helps motivate me, motivate other creatives to fulfill their dreams. My goal is to inspire at least 1 million artists around the world to pursue their dreams and fulfill their artist dreams. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, the real third step is to build a team. Now, you can build this team with whoever you want. And this can be your friends, your family, other artists and colleagues that you have, or it can actually be a professional team that you hire to help execute the vision. For instance, here at the Mad Lab, we are a team of creatives that help other creatives fulfill their artistic dreams and plan their solo shows in our gallery. So if you don't have anything like that around where you are, reach out to other artists or reach out to a gallery that might wanna help you. There's a good chance that there's someone out there that is willing to help. So having the right like-minded people in your corner is going to help get you through the tough times. Like I said, this is no easy task and nothing worth doing in life is easy, but having the right people in your corner can help motivate you and get you through all the tough stuff. Also, having people that you can delegate things to will help open up some free time for you to focus on more important things. And the key thing to building a team is not getting any Cheryls involved. A Cheryl is somebody who's going to just like bring problems and issues and always talk about the bad things and all the scary stuff about doing this, which will actually just distract you and discourage you from following your dreams. We all know that this is difficult and hard. So having somebody who is just going to stress you out is not helpful. So the key is just having people who are going to motivate you and support you and be there for you when you need it. Okay, so you had a vision, you planned everything meticulously, and you built a team to help you execute. So what's the last step? The last step is the easiest of them all, and that's to just market the show. Just put it out into the world. For best results, you wanna market for at least five to six weeks. At the bare minimum, for four weeks. That way people have plenty of time to think about the show, to get exposure to the ideas, and to plan ahead so that they can actually put it in their schedules and come. You should think of your show like a movie premiere. So think of flyers and posters and taglines and all of the things that you want to put out there for people to see. And since you spent time thinking about the vision and planning for it, this step should be easy. Just use the concept that you created and make marketing material around that. At this stage, what you're trying to do is set an intention. 
So when they walk in through the door, they're already in some sort of mindset, which gives them a better idea to understand your message that you're putting out into the world. As far as actually how to market or where to put the marketing material, you should do the obvious ones like post it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the social medias that you have. And I'd encourage you to actually put some ad dollars behind it. That way you have the best chance of people showing up. On top of that, look for blogs or micro influencers or tap into your network. Now that you have a team, tap into their network and ask them to help promote the show. If you're working with a gallery, obviously give them all the promotional material that you have and ask for them to promote. I would also encourage you to promote the show from the day you decide to do it. Start talking about it. Tell everybody that you know. Tell your friends. Tell your friends' friends. Tell your ex-girlfriends. Well, don't, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But the idea is to tell everybody about the show. Tell them about what it means to you. Tell them about what you want to get out of it. People really want to buy into the ideas of what you believe, not necessarily what you're going to be showing, but who you are as a creative and the energy that you're putting out into the world. So the more people you tell and the more you put it out into the universe and the more you manifest it into your life, the better chances you're going to have of people showing up the day of the show. And that's it. That's all you have to do to put on your own solo show. And I know it could sound a little daunting or pretty hard, but again, nothing worth doing in life is easy. And if you follow these four easy steps, you have a good chance of succeeding. So have a vision and believe in yourself, create a detailed plan and take some risks, build a team and market your show, and then just have fun and enjoy the process. This would have been a really hard thing to put together so the day of the show just enjoy yourself be present be in a moment and make sure that you take it all in so remember i promised you that little nugget at the end of the video this is it so you worked really hard for this show you had the time of your life you sold a ton of art and now you're super inspired by what you just achieved but what do you do next what do you do after the show to get the most out of this experience during the planning phase make sure you plan a post show protocol with this show, you'll be building a ton of momentum. So if you build a show protocol after the show, that allows you to take all this momentum and channel it wherever you want it to go. So for instance, if you already have a website or are you planning to have a website by the end of the show, use the momentum of the show to take traffic to your website. Plan some open gallery days after the show to allow people who missed the opening day to enjoy the art and get the exposure after the show. Also, make sure to get a ton of content during the show so you can share it after and continue the momentum. It would also be smart to plan a meeting with your team after the show to reflect on everything that happened the day of the show. That way you guys can think about all the things that went wrong and all the things that went right. That way you can learn from the experience and build upon it so that the next time you have a show, it's even better. Our goal is to continuously level up. That way we keep getting better and better and growing. If you did everything right, this show can be a huge platform for the next step in your creative career. So make sure you pour your heart into it, work super hard and enjoy the process. And don't forget to believe in yourself. Go out there, live your dream, do everything that you want to. Live a bold life, be creative, and live all of your art dreams. I know you can do it. All you have to do is believe in yourself. <clears throat> all right, creative world, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm trying super hard to bring you guys really valuable content and actionable advice that you guys can take on to fulfill and manifest all your art dreams. So if you're enjoying the content, please help me out, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and drop a comment down below and let me know what the name of your solo show is gonna be when you do it. Thank you again, Creative World, and until next time, never stop creating.